Okay, question one. So they give us a set X of four vectors in R4, and they say we've got to look at the subspace generated by that set. So that means taking linear combinations, all the linear combinations of vectors from that set. But of course, a set of linear combinations that can be written in matrix form, and then we'll gauss reduce the matrix and see what happens. Okay, so the linear combinations then are given, if I call the linear, co linear combination of of those four vectors x, y, z, w, it's given by a linear combination, but it can be written in matrix form, with coefficients being a, b, c, d, those are just only real numbers, and then the vectors were 1, minus 1, 0, 0, and 1, 1, 2, 0, 0, 0, 2, 1, and 1, 2, minus 1, 2, and those form the columns of that matrix. Uh, so now we can reduce this matrix, or this matrix equation. So we could do start off with row 2 plus row 1. Yeah, that's, all we, that's really all we can do in that step, I think. So that'll be, you know, have x be the same. You have y plus x. Uh, those are the same. You'll have 1, 1, 0, 1. And then here we have 0, 2, 0, 3. Okay, now we could do, we could then do, you know what? The weather I'm just write, write the whole thing out again. Just write out the whole thing. Okay. So you have Z, W there, and you have the A, B, C, D. I'm not going to write it yet. Now we could do row three minus row two. Okay. What we're trying to do is get a row of zeros somewhere because that will give us the Cartesian equation with the, the variables the x, the y, the z, and the w. So the first two rows stay the same. This we get. Z minus row 2, so minus y minus x. So you have 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, and then we have 0, 0, then 2, and minus 1, minus 3 is minus 4. And w is the same. Now we could do we could do row 3. Hmm. That minus four is not nice because it's it's not going to it's not going to cancel with that two there. So that makes me suspicious about having done this correctly. So what was the actual big vectors? The vectors were the vectors were one minus one zero zero one one two zero 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 two one one two minus one then minus two. Yeah, that was a mistake. Okay, so this is actually a minus two. That'll make things work out nicely. Minus two. That's a minus two. So that's a minus 2. So now we can do row 3 minus 2 times row 4. And if you do that, you'll end up with that becoming z minus y minus x minus 2w equals well, 0, of course. Okay? So that's the Cartesian equation. That's it, right? That's, that's 1i. Okay? Now that, I mean, wait, was it Cartesian equation or equations? No, it's one Cartesian equation. I mean, we can check if there's more, but they say there's not, so I'm not going to bother checking. Okay, is x linearly dependent or independent? Well, it's definitely dependent because it's got four vectors, so if they were independent, they would make us generate a subspace of four dimensions. But since it's an extra Cartesian equation, this Cartesian equation that they must satisfy, that's a subspace of only three dimensions. So how can I say that? Um, I could say that, I could just say that, look, a Cartesian, a Cartesian equation, a Cartesian equation in R4 gives a subspace of dimension 4 minus 1, which is 3. Each Cartesian equation takes the dimension down by one, okay? Um, but four vectors in the set X, so X must be dependent, must be linearly dependent, okay?
that's ii. Uh, now, three, find a subset of x that is a basis for s and give the dimension of s. Oh, I actually already gave the dimension of s, and so it was three, didn't I? So, we want vectors that are independent, vectors that are independent of each other. Three vectors that are independent of each other. So now, when we do this Gauss reduction, we're going to get one free variable. When we did this Gauss reduction, if we carried on, we got one free variable. Where would that free variable have been? We'd have, we'd have a whole row of zeros, and then yeah, the first three columns would have been pivots, and then the fourth column would be in a row of zeros. Would be sorry, would have been a free variable. So that means that variable could be been chosen to be the d, in other words, could be chosen to be anything. So in particular, you could choose the d to be minus one, and if you make that on the x, y, z, x, y, z, w, make them all zero, then you have the d minus one, so you pull the, that, the fourth vector to the other side, and now you have the fourth vector written as a, a linear combination of the first three vectors. In other words, the fourth vector is definitely dependent on the other three, so we can throw that one away. So we can just use the first three vectors. So I'm going to say that i shows um, it shows that this fourth vector, which was one two minus one minus two, is dependent on. And then I'll, I'll now actually write the whole set. B equals so the first three vectors. 1, minus 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 0, and 0, 0, 2, 1. So B is a basis for S, which is was defined to be the span of X. And then that means the dimension of S equals the size of B, which is 3. OK. Is there another question? Extend the basis to obtain a basis for R4. OK, so we've just got to choose a fourth vector that is not in, this, not in the set generated by B, which was the same as the set generated by X which is that plane. So we just need to choose a vector that's not in this plane. So you need to choose a vector that doesn't satisfy that equation. So an example would be if we have x equal 1 and the rest being zeros. That doesn't satisfy that equation. So that means we can say, so we can say that um, we call this vector, I'll call this extra vector we're make choosing, I'll call it v. So v equals 1, 0, 0, 0. Um, is clearly is not in the plane generated by given by what's z minus y minus x minus two w z minus y minus x minus two w equals zero, and so that means that B union the second any v is a basis for. R4, because it's got four vectors which are independent. And I think that's the whole thing. Yes, that's it.